Tuesday, April 17th, 2018. We're a day's delay because of yesterday's Patriots Day and Boston Marathon running. So a cold, soggy, wet one. <clears throat> so tonight, we're going to be meeting with the Finance Committee to review annual town, the annual town meeting warrant articles and vote recommendations, but they are a meeting, so we're going to move ahead and circle back to that once they get up here. So we're going to start with our minutes from 4-9. Motion. Uh, I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Three to zero on that one. And then our old business. Um, we have time to our North Main Street reconstruction peer review. <coughs> Did you want to update on that? You uh, asked me to put it on the agenda for the yeah, peer review. Yes, the the after the <clears throat> North Main Street uh, meeting a couple of weeks ago here in this room, yeah. uh, a question about a peer review <clears throat> uh, of the engineering was uh, suggested. Yeah. And Sherry reached out. We have another engineer uh, that is willing to do the peer review for, frankly, not a lot of money. And it oh, is money that is inside of a prior appropriation associated with engineering for North Main Street. So I think that it would make sense to follow the, follow the, the will of the um, people who came that night to have another set of professional eyes look at that. And yeah. it's... $3,000? Right. It's only about $3,000 total. It's a reasonable so, sum to spend yeah. on a good review. <coughs> exactly. That's a big project, so. Right. And this is a, a engineer who has a prior complete streets experience, and that's important from a perspective's point of view. It is, so, especially when you look at it from a holistic, you know, right. and step back and look at it. Yeah, I would agree. So again, the $3,000 itself is a part of an original appropriation, the original engineering appropriation for the North Main Street reconstruction. And I think uh, if it's the prerogative of the board, I'd make a motion that, if it's name. Um, Hudson. Company name. But that we execute the peer review based on the recommendation. Yeah. Okay. What do you think, Tom? Um, Sherry, when, when they do the work, are they they're, they're, are they replacing all underground utilities as well I'm not on North sure. Main Street? Because they're, the they're, right? they're, they're mm -hmm. doing the drainage, right? They're doing storm and, and sewer. Yep. And sewer. Because I, I noticed they, there's been an email going back and forth from Warner Brothers concerning the uh, section up on North Main Street, but yep. I, I mean. I, I would recommend that they jet they jet it for the next year or two or three years until based on to that yeah yeah and and then because I don't know and I right now it's at four inch everything else is six mm -hmm. so at that time I would I would I would go to think six. that everything is put down through six yep. inches yep so if, if, I, if I recall the specifications everything that's under the public way yeah obviously the branches are another animal right but everything that's under the public way is yeah I, incorporated I thought, into the tip. Yeah, I thought I thought that they were supposed mm -hmm. to. That's why I was I was reading it from Rich, and I was yep. I, I say, well, let's not worry about uh, replacing it because it's going to be replaced in a few right. years. Right. Okay. Right. Then, so having the pitch and the pitch correct and the size correct are going to be important. Correct. But there's yeah. some interim steps to keep it from freezing. <coughs> I mentioned adding it to the cleaning schedule. I think so. Right? That sewer line replacement would be part of the North Main Street. Okay. Yeah. That's the whole fun infrastructure part of it. Right. Yeah, the stuff again, that you don't see, but there's a lot of lot of time we have we have, we spend talking about the aesthetic and the width and the speed and we get all that, but there's a lot of things <laughs> under, part under, of it. under that road and adjacent that road that are really important as well. No, yep. <clears throat> like talking about light switches and mm -hmm. appliances in your house, but you got to address all your plumbing and heating exactly and right. electrical and everything. So again, I'd recommend if I could, Mr. Chair, mm -hmm. that we we go ahead and and go about this peer review. Uh, we have a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So that's good. So that'll get us another set of eyes. Yeah, uh, and that's that'll be good. We want to be happy with this project uh, ten years down the road or whatever. Yeah. <coughs> that's good. Um, before we get to like any any updates, we do want to do the uh, surplus property for the Graves Memorial Library. So they are, uh, they've got a list of things here that they want to declare a surplus property. And do they get, 
I don't recall seeing a total value on that, but I think it, it's unknown. Some yeah. of it is really yeah. old and in very bad mm -hmm. condition. If probably you know. not going to be bumping up against the five thousand yeah. dollar limit probably there. Not. Really wanting to do their spring cleaning, and I think yeah. the um, bulk waste day is coming up on the oh, May nine. Yeah. So, right. So yeah, yeah. Move move to uh, declare the property surplus as presented from the historical commission and <coughs> ensure the procurement officer makes sure the disposition is complete in accordance with our policy. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 That'll help them to clear out some stuff from their exactly. basement. I'll send a <coughs> MO around to all the departments and ask them if they want it to come and get it. And yeah. if not, we'll yeah. just, it'll go. <laughs> it'll it'll sense. <laughs> Somebody might have a burning desire for a file cabinet. You never know. Or an or old like magazine a newspaper rack. rack. Right. Right. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. All right. Um, and we can do our, our board and town administrator updates. Okay. Hopefully they'll be wrapping up soon. Tom, anybody? Uh, I just uh, met with the uh, chief to discuss his uh, his contract. So uh, um, that time, yeah. So that's I, good. There's there's nothing uh, outlandish in the, in his request. So now we just gotta discuss that. Well, that's good. Um, um, the uh, <coughs> senior center. We're looking for a new director and. I went over today to town of uh, Deerfield and picked up the uh, 10 or 11 resumes for Sherry to review mm. the process that we're going to follow. Similar to what we've done in the past, Sherry and the other two town administrators from Deerfield and Whiteley will review uh, review the uh, resumes. Um, they'll participate in the first round and negotiate a uh, first round of interviews with the uh, themselves and the, uh, the uh, Council of Angels aging chairs, then they'll make a uh, recommendation to the uh, Board of Oversight and Board of Oversight will then uh, interview the, the finalists. Oh, that's good. Um, I think I had, there was a, uh, the candidates forum last night, uh, Friday night, that was a, a good turnout there. We got to see all now down to eight candidates for uh, Steve Kulik's seat. It was good to see a good turnout there. It was good, good, uh, Good night. You know, good to see. Uh, <coughs> they had their opening statements. They answered questions and everything. I thought it was a nice, uh, a nice opportunity for folks to get out and actually see the candidates face to face. So, uh, if I could, Mr. Chair, we have we just concluded a capital planning committee meeting. The budget uh, submissions that were submit the submissions from departments and the schools were reduced either to with a recommendation to not include or to change some of the dollar values. The mm -hmm. finalized list will come to the board next week. Uh -huh. And the interesting, I appreciate uh, well, I appreciate working with all the members, but there was uh, one member in particular who who raised the point. Well, we have what can we anticipate for capital spending in, in the next few years and we're reminded that right now the town is undergoing um, a building survey with architect and MEPs mechanical electrical uh, plumbing uh, for a snapshot as to how the assets are currently and their charge was to develop a plan to go into our capital funding mechanism for a 5 10 and 20 year view Okay. So uh, the discussion, active discussion about capital uh, requests in the coming years, uh, was was a, a topic tonight, and that was you know, played a little bit in our dis in our decision making. Mm, that's that's good. That'll give us a good idea, at least from a property perspective, like right. where we where we stand. Exactly. We had, uh, meetings last week as well. Uh, Franklin, uh, excuse me, Frontier Regional. My eyes are falling out. <laughs> Frontier Regional's capital planning uh, meeting last week as well. And uh, that again was a lively discussion. Remember that is, uh, that board is uh, composed of a selectman from each of the four towns, administrators, in this case here the principal, uh, school committee members. Uh, and I, again, I think there's consensus about how to structure a year one, a year two, a year three, a year five. 
Uh, the question is about uh, what's borrowed for what has a life cycle that makes sense to borrow for. You know, it's not always the case to simply borrow money uh, and fund the operating budget for maintenance. So it's it's been very, very good. So that was uh, last week as well. It's been like capital week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Good fun. Any exciting updates you want to share? Sure. We have a lot of projects that are starting to move the Complete Streets yeah. project. We've been working with the engineer and the FERCOG mm -hmm. on the um, bid specification of package and uh, what we kind of reached a consensus to do is to eliminate the Hadley Road project at this time we ran into some issues um, with needing easements mm -hmm. and those kind of things and wanting to uh, work a little more closely with the property owner there um, so I contacted MassDOT Complete Streets in Boston and they said just to submit a letter to them and they'd give us an extension of one year or whatever we need to okay. Okay. work out the details of that project and the other one that we decided to put on hold was the PVTA bus stop mm -hmm. on um, the shelter. Yeah, yeah, just again so that we could reach out to the homeowners in the area and make sure that you know we're putting up something that um, will be okay with them as well because there was a little bit of input um, there from some of the abutters. Um, so other than that, the project will be moving forward with all the other um, projects that were listed in the prioritization plan. And the LED streetlight conversion, um, we did send the notice of intent to purchase to Eversource. We're just waiting for that to come back. And we're um, working out the contract details with real, real term uh, for the conversion in July. It's nice. nice. There's some good we're still, gonna, we're still gonna get a look at the fixtures. Right. Correct. Yeah. They gotta conduct the audit and the design will all have, will have input into all of okay. that. Okay. So. That's good. And then working on the materials for the open house on Friday from four to seven That's at the right. Sunderland Public Library. There you <laughs> go. This gotta Friday. get that plug yes. in. Yep. So and, and this will be good. It'll be a good opportunity and I think a good learning experience for us to see what um, right. what type of information people you know maybe want to see and it, it's a good it'll be a good learning experience if nothing right. else for everybody. So Friday this coming Friday from four to seven p.m. at the Sunderland Public Library. Bob's never been in there. No? A pre-town meeting, open house to um, discuss the articles, the budget, capital. Um, we'll have handouts and information and some displays um, for people to see. And it's an informal setting, so they'll be able to talk to local officials and right, get questions. And, and ask I, yeah, questions. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And I understand too. You know, not everybody's comfortable getting up in front of a large crowd asking a question. So there they get a chance to ask, you know, and hopefully too it, it brings people into the meeting a little more mm. knowledgeable about the information too. So that maybe that'll help cut down a little bit on time. So, you know, you're, you're not going through explaining certain things, you know. Good point. Be able Couldn't to hurt. talk about the debt exclusion for the fire truck and the override and impact to the tax rate and those things, so. Yeah. Well, I guess our fire truck. And there's that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do, do we have a result? Because there's a number of approaches that we're looking at for the funding mechanisms for that. <coughs> well, regardless of 500 and change, it's going to be debt service and it has to yeah. be excluded. So you're not going to raise that. Right. The question is about the um, about the um, agent that's going to provide that funding. And that we had a financial team meeting. That was last week, too. Yeah, right? another right. meeting last yeah. week. Yeah. Financial team meeting downstairs last week during the day with the treasurer collector, Sherry, myself accountant and uh, about you know what what could that debt structure look like to yeah. make sure we don't impact our capital um, the capital's money that we raise annually it could easily strip that out but somewhere there could be a sweet spot between using some stabilization some that's some what right trying to trying to find that piece right now um, all of this is contingent on the authority to borrow Right, you still got town meeting and you still have an election. Right. So, if you don't have the authority to borrow, you're not getting a fire truck, regardless of who recommends it. That's very true. <clears throat> but I, I would like to say mm -hmm. on the fire department that uh, I appreciate how they're going about it. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Um, yep. You know, they're, they're, you can see some other towns in our area when they get in the, you know the fire chief is there and 
you know, will break down, go into the fire. Right. And, and I, I think I think our fire chief and our fire, the leadership, understand that the residents are pretty savvy and mm -hmm. just give them the facts, they, they can figure out which, right. you know, and I, I I appreciate how I I appreciate how they're 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 going. They're not, you know. And it says, you know, the the truck is thirty years old. Thirty years old. I mean, and and I understand how how it gets used when it gets used, uh, but still, you know, a lot of technologies happen in the last thirty thirty years. years. Yeah, yeah. It, even in the last ten years, I suspect they've changed quite a bit. You know? So yeah. I, I I I I just I just like to you know. To say to the chief that I I appreciate I appreciate how he's uh, how he's going going about the process. He's, he's, he's the process is, is very well undertaken. And we got two bidders this time, right? Does that recall? Correct. So yeah, one more than last time. So that's good. Nice. <clears throat> Tom, it's it's it, to, just to build off of Tom's point. Mm. You know, it's not an easy process putting together a specification for a, a piece of equipment like that and having it be general enough to attract more than one <coughs> bidder. Right. And that that I, I applaud the chief's effort for that. And of course, you know, he, he does he does he does bidding for a living, so he understands it, and it's been very very good. This is not this is not politics. This is just a thirty year old piece of equipment. Right. You got to replace it. Right. And it's not quite like going out to buy a new car. Right. A little different. Exactly. All right. So we're still waiting for our friends downstairs there. Do you want to go over the non-money articles? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <clears throat> so we'll be starting with... I was going to start with the fire truck, right? Yeah. Let's see. I know it's a, it's a money borrowing authorization, but this is all contingent, so... We're not talking about the operating budget here. So Article 7 is the capital. Article 8 begins the, the non-budget stuff. <coughs> so we would go, uh, is the 536-868 the recommendation from the chief? For the, for the yeah. actual bid? So that, that is the, that's the, the truck. The okay. Uh, move to recommend. Uh, move to recommend the motion of Article Eight. Have a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Do you want to start with? Do you want to do Article Six? Take access money. Take access. Yeah, we should probably do that one. That's to move to transfer from free cash the sum of twenty nine thousand to the peg access fund, and that gets back to our motion. Yeah, well, that makes good sense. This is cleaning up. This is refunding from a, a year ago. Right. We took money out, so we're putting it back. We have a second on that one. Uh, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, three to zero on that one. So I say that although the minutes haven't been approved until our next meeting, the capital planning committee voted five to zero in support of the fire truck. Okay. Okay. That's so good we to can know. we can include that on include that on here. On the next are the CPA. So Article Nine is going to be CPC open space. So this is design of the new playground, Tom. You were you were there for the CPC, right? And this is the, just uh, the design side. This is um, the original request came for twenty thousand mm -hmm. um, dollars, and the CP to CPC reviewed the uh, um, the proposal. Mm -hmm. This is basically for the. Uh, design of the project. The, the other eight thousand dollars was kind of like some project manage project management uh, okay. expenses. Yep. Okay. So we decided to take that eight thousand dollars out because we're not in the project management phase yet. Right. Right. Yes, design work. So so basically, what's going to happen? This is over on the uh, pre K K side, and the the principal came in and it was very <clears throat> what they want to do is they want to integrate the play ground to enter integrate it into 
their uh, curriculum. Mm. So that's why there's a 12,000 because it's more than just putting up play structures. It's, mm -hmm. it's actually integrating those structures into the curriculum of the school, I believe. Does that sound right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, and um, so we talked about it in, we, 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 we had reduced it from the 20 to 12, but I don't think anybody has a problem with that. No, I mean, that good design goes a long way. Give people's input. You're not, you're not really to build, to build the project yet, so you don't need necessarily project management element of it. And, and again, there's some challenges with the site yep. because of yep. the, um, the proximities to the wetlands mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yep. stuff like that. But, and, and again, I think the integration of the playground into the curriculum, um, they're pretty excited about that. Yeah, it's a neat idea. It's been a long <coughs> time. Cool. It's been a, a long, well, there's been a lot of work done on this project. It's actually taken quite a number of years. So, nice. And that's always been a long-term goal is to not just have play but to integrate into curriculum right. and, and and if I could also mr. chair the uh, the this money also the design will allow them to go out and uh, solicit for uh, grants and funding for That's the right. product as well great it's kind of like the engineering part of our tip project you know, you've got to, you've got to show the commitment and then you can move on to the next phase great points great points <clears throat> Uh, right. Move to recommend the motion <coughs> for Article 9. Second. All those in favor? <coughs> Aye. Right. Yeah, this is no. CPA. Yes. Yeah. We have Article 10, also CPA related. So this CPA, this is for the, one of the phases over here from New Park Accessible River Walk in the picnic area. Yeah. This is the match. Okay. Basically, this this was our share of the um, project that we were awarded a grant for. Yep. So we had we there was a com uh, a commitment on us that we would pay us a certain percentage of the, and we did receive the grant. So this would allow um, us to use the full grant. And that's a park grant that we applied for. Mm -hmm. That's great. Another nice addition to the around the town hall and the town, especially moving into our anniversary year. Yeah. So this right here has got two lines from CPA. So 66 is from Th this year, and the other part is for well, when, when you look, current when you year. Look, when you look at CPC money, CPA yep. money, um, there's money that designated. You always have to set aside certain, yep. certain portions of, of the money has to be set aside. So, so there's a certain there's certain target dates target percentages that you have to you, that you're looking for for historical preservation recreation and open space protection. Yeah. So this is just this is just what we would have to take for the funding. Got to it. Stay, to stay within those. Uh, Got it. So so part of this comes from uh, I'll use the open space or, or preservation. Correct. And then the other comes from the undesignated. Correct. Got it. Okay. No, no, and, and I and I if I could for one second, Mr. Chair. Mm. Um mm. To, to me, um the whole the biggest part of this um uh, this river riverside park um is you're gonna actually be able to park in a handicapped spot next to the veterans veterans memorial. And then you would be able to get gain access through uh, compliant pathways to actually overlook the river. Hmm. That yeah. that's one, one part element, of it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I know you know in our town, um, it's very hard if, if you have a physical disability to to get to the river and to actually. Right. Um, enjoy what's down there so if if that was the only reason to support that i think that would be enough but it also um ties in there's going to be an overlook section that's going to overlook the river mm -hmm. um i i think it's finally going to be able to tie in the boat ramp um right. and i and i don't think we'll be quite the uh, san antonio river walk yeah right right um but it's going to be pretty darn good for 
town of Sundown. Right. That's wonderful. Yeah, especially if you want to take a nice long walk, you can loop up and down Main Street, loop around by the river sure. and everything. And and this actually is, a, this is the, the culmination of multiple years of effort by both Pathways, CPA. We did some land transfers. We did an eminent right. domain taking. We did another uh, uh, friendly land swap. We, we right, there was a lot and, of and work up And to actually, that. it's not done yet. Oh, I understand. I mean, right. this is, I mean, it's so another it's not piece. quite, there may be additional things added as, as we as we move along yep. so and then there'll be the work on the boat ramp too right. so it's a it's sort of a all-encompassing approach to uh enjoying right. the river right. good point right. uh move to recommend the motion for article 10. second all those in favor aye aye, aye. aye. Right. and then we have our article 11 which is our annual appropriations for and this is pretty formulaic, as formula. Yeah, this sets aside <laughs> the coming years, yep. I, and, 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 and Mr. Chair, if I could, I would just, if it wasn't for the perseverance of, of um, certain members of the CPC, yep. um, in particular Jennifer Uncles, this this is uh and and she spends a lot of time with brian um to get all the numbers right mm -hmm. so <clears throat> i just want to thank publicly thank jennifer for all because it's one of those things that happens on the sideline um that you know she goes home and 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 you just can't leave it you have to actually pick it up and look at it yeah. on your time on your time away for I, jennifer does a wonderful job with the numbers um she had a good trainer and, and richard Lepaka, so I just want to convey that I, it's, the town appreciates all the effort that she puts into this. I agree with that. <clears throat> Motion. Uh, yes. Uh, what is the community preservation debt service? That would imply that they borrowed money. Yeah, they're actually paying the debt for the 120 North property. And the town bought that. Okay. Because that's for housing. And 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 believe it or not, and I know you will. <laughs> um, but one of the one of the good things about purchasing of the 120 is the uh, it, it's very difficult to um, come up with housing. It, it appears it's easier to buy open space and recreation, um, but the housing is always a challenge. Mm -hmm. And and this number is right right in line with our percentage that we need to put aside every year so it, it actually works out very well for us so and a number of goals which is good all right uh, <coughs> do we have a motion and yes a, and a uh, second. second yep all those in favor aye, aye. 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 okay and then article 12 These establish the fees. Yep, our annual okay. fee establishment for our inspector of fees. Uh -huh. The revolving funds that are associated with it. This is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty much standard for each year that we do. I have, I have a maybe a, a silly question. Mm. So let's say there's uh, this establishes an annual <coughs> spending limit. Now, expenditure limit. Let's say there's a big price. Say Sugarbush Meadows rolls in, yeah. and the permit wiring permit, because it's kind of in my wheelhouse, is like forty-five thousand mm dollars. -hmm. This this establishes a cap mm -hmm. of nine thousand dollars. <coughs> Yeah, but at that time we'd come back to the town meeting and increase yeah. the level. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I just the, the phrasing caught me a little flat-footed. Like, you know, uh, what if it's more than that? Anyway, <coughs> well, it's, a, it's a good question, especially if you because you don't always have a huge part. But what right. happens if one pops in and then there's a lot of work to be done? Right, right, right. Nope. Not or the community room at the library gets rented a lot, and suddenly it's like. But again, raise a kick. Okay, yeah. th thanks for that. I appreciate it. Uh, move to recommend the motion for Article Twelve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 
I think was it last year, or the year before, <coughs> we, re we had uh, everybody revisit their fees. Yeah, the fee schedules, right? Right. And that's probably something we'll probably want to do again in mm -hmm. another year or two. I think just to keep on top of that. Uh, with respect to the Article 13 motion, uh, the Capital Planning Committee voted five to zero in favor. That okay. <clears throat> and that's our transfer from capital stabilization. Mm -hmm. Or stabilization. Or, or stabilization. Or stabilization. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. That's right. Scott, capital stabilization. Sorry, can I ask you uh, if I remember right? Wasn't there some discussion about the school, Frontier Mowen, uh, Hurley Park, and not Sunderland? That's still being looked at okay. um, with the folks at Buildings and Grounds. So there had been no determination on that. Not yet. There was a little pushback at the initial conversation, but that mm -hmm. doesn't mean the conversation is over. Mm -hmm. I bet. <laughs> okay. You would think it would be fair. I think mm -hmm. it's fair as well. Okay. This came out of the Capitol meeting last week at Frontier, and I had a personal conversation with uh, the principal, and he was going to continue to bridge the gap with, with Bob Peters, mm -hmm. as Peter as well as working with, with Bob and the administration as to well, how do we go about that. Okay. okay. Motion. We have a second on Article 13. I'll uh, second. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. No. Two to one on that one. Then. Uh, Article 14. This is to transfer 5000 from free cash to conduct a classification and compensation study for. Should we put the touch on the Finance Committee to see if they're coming up for these? You know this this one here for capital the ones That's, yeah the other that was kind of pushing our original bit the other pieces were pretty straightforward we could look at the uh, cha -cha 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 -cha. We, could, we could get uh, 17 right yes yep. that one I mean I mean really in the in the grand scheme of things I'm Maybe we should just continue down. These are recommendations. We have a funding source established. We're not talking about the operating budget, or we're not talking as well uh, about um, revenue forecasting. So these have sources. I'm fine if they have, if the finance committee has a different opinion on that, then they can vote it accordingly. And it's, it's just that's essentially right. a one time. Right. Yeah, exactly. Okay, my apologies. No? So the classification hearing, five thousand dollars from free cash. And that is for a study for our employees for compensation. Can 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 uh, I I I'd, I'd like to before I understand town meeting is coming up, mm -hmm. um, but I would suggest that the um, RFP be. Um, recommended, authorized by the personnel committee, mm -hmm. and then by the board of selectmen. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I'd like to see. What are we again, asking I, for? I yeah. have a. I, I theor. I. We had a very interesting conversation with uh, at our last Franklin County Selectmen's Association about uh, uh, from a person that did classification studies. Yeah. And I thought there were some very interesting questions posed to her. Mm -hmm. And, and her response was diametrically opposite of what we've always heard before, where you have to have steps, you have to have, mm -hmm. and, and I, I just, I just never, I've never heard mm -hmm. in the public domain right. that conversation. Right. Yep. And I think, I think that should be, you know, we should, and, and to tell you the truth, I think, I think if you have someone like that, that performs it, I think you'd have a stronger she is the one, Tom. Huh? Very That's going to be. Focus. She's going to be doing it. She, you, Matt yeah. Collins. Yeah. I, I just, I just think it's, it's a little, yeah. it's a little different than what we've heard in right. the past. Right. You know. She gave to, to, for this. Oh, good. Yeah. And and I think it's good to have the personnel committee and the select board on the same page in terms of where we want to go forward with what the goal of that right. is. So I think that's important. I, I do also. Yeah, I would agree. So I, I don't disagree with it, but it's just, I think it's how. Your expectations coming out of that study that are most important, right? Yeah, actually, it's not unlike the 
conversation, uh, some dialogue at the last cap, not tonight's last week's capital planning committee downstairs. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a peer review of the engineer, you don't need of your current drawings, you don't feed them what you want the objective to be. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, then, then why bother? Right. Absolutely, Scott. I agree. Okay. Uh, <coughs> make a motion to Second. recommend 14. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And then, uh, let's see, article, do we want to do 15? Uh, yep. Snow and ice, yep. Okay. Uh, and this is our annual snow and ice budget where we get to the one, the one pie. Is that changing from because of what happened yesterday? I have to um, check that with Brian when he comes in this week, so that number may change. Might go up a little bit, yeah, because we did get a, a bit of sleet and <laughs> snow. I'll final numbers for you on Monday night. <coughs> but as we look at the use of cash, we're talking about. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I was talking about. It's important to bear in mind as we talk about these free cash numbers. We're leaving in part of our financial team meeting uh, discussion on Thursday morning last week. The accountant raised the point that this will be the least amount of free cash we will have left on the table in his recent memory. Hmm. We usually go out with 130, 170, 150. Uh, this, this current use right now puts us at leaving $75,000 to go forward. Based on the nearly eight million dollar budget, the accountant said that would be considered lean. So mm -hmm. again, I get it. Yeah. Well, why why would you do that? Why? I mean, you're putting money into s capital stabilization and other things. I mean, well, that's that's part of the discussion for tonight, Tom. I, I agree with that. Well, maybe I mean, maybe we don't put as much in capital and we leave it pushing forward in, in free cash because again, that is the baseline of of years to the future. <coughs> right. All right. Great points. All right. We have a motion on Article 15 based um, on motion. the new number. Yep, yep, yep. Based on the new number of uh, free cash uh, or from stabilization for snow and ice deficit for this current year. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's one we really can't get away from every year. No, no, I agree. <laughs> Some years again, better than others, but but as as we talk about you know, the funding sources and the use of the use of revenues here, you know, maybe that is one where something comes from stabilization and we we move it that way. We could we could raise it on the recap. Yeah, that's a, yeah. all that does is dilute what you move forward anyway. Yeah, yeah it's always tough. Well, there's no magical places to get it from. <laughs> well, know? again, as well, I don't want to. Keep circling back to that that uh, financial team meeting discussion, but you know the the accountant did express those concerns, and we'll talk about that as part of maybe a revisit of the updates. Okay. Uh, and then Article 16 is for transfer of $500 from free cash for the care and maintenance of the ve uh, the veterans' graves at the North Sunderland Cemetery. This is a one-time mm -hmm. cost, from yep. what I understand. Yeah. I'll move to recommend the motion for Article 16. Do a second. I, I will, mm -hmm. as long as as long as we get uh, an accounting of how the money was spent. Yep. It's Point. reasonable. Also, it's reasonable it's a private cemetery. Correct. So we're giving money to a private right. organization. I would think that there needs to be an account, accounting, an accounting of yep. how the money is spent. Yep. Well played. That makes perfect sense. <clears throat> All those in favor with an <coughs> excuse me is written with an accounting. Mm -hmm. Aye. 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 Three to zero on that one, please. <coughs> excuse me. The remaining. I'm sorry. They're, they're not all. No. Nope. Yeah. So Article 17 That's is. Aggregation. Yes, is aggregation. <coughs> To allow us to initiate an aggregation process for electricity for the residents and business electricity consumers within the town and to enter into agreements for such services, basically. So that would allow us to opt in or out of an aggregation program. If we have to adopt the decide. statute to be able to actually do it. It doesn't right. mean we're going to do it. Exactly. <coughs> and that, that would be a whole separate... A whole other process. Yeah. yeah, and and you know this this is one where simply adopting the statute doesn't it, it makes it 
It makes the town, gives the town the ability to actually go about this, but it's a rather onerous process. Yes. So this is, this yeah. is, this is, this is not a yeah. slam dunk just because we adopt the statute. No, and, and this is no direction or anything. Right. This is just right. a mechanical procedure, right. I guess. Yeah, we, can't, we can't go forward without this vote. If you choose to go forward, you can't even choose to go forward without this vote. Exactly, it's just dead in the water. Uh, move to recommend Article 17 motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And then Article 18. This is part of the complete streets up on Garage Road. Yep. This is a, a piece of acquire purchase. Is this a swap or a domain? Oh, just an, it's an easement. Easement. Oh. Easy. And the um, owners have uh, agreed, the bank has agreed, and so this is just the final case, and then we'll be all set. Okay. okay. So a motion on that motion. one? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, three to zero on that one. And now we're down to our this is citizen's consent. petition. Almost, let's say 19 is <coughs> citizen's petition about anti corruption resolution language resolution to establish. Is a position of Sunderland that tough new anti corruption laws for politicians, lobbyists, and outside groups such as super PACs are necessary in order to protect and promote the First Amendment? As okay. most. I'm not asking for a, for a recommendation for oh. most of you. Oh. Citizens' petition lands yeah. automatic. Huh? The citizens' petition Who's lands that? automatic. Right. Once we. Yeah. Once they get enough. Uh, didn't the town clerk have something about uh, not doing something on Saturday? She took it off. She did? Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can say it because I talked to her about it. I go, what did you write? <laughs> okay. <coughs> so that's 19. So 20 through 25 are the consent articles. Yeah. Move. Move. Recommend. I even have to. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Consent? Aye. That's a blanket. <coughs> yes. Yeah, for the package. Let's see if the finance committee is going to come up or not come up. Mm hmm? Before you leave, question totally off the budget. On Plum Tree Road and Route 116, mm -hmm. there are dig safe notices going into Sugarbush Meadows. And I guess the question is what is the status of Sugarbush? What permits are outstanding and what can they do? <coughs> I haven't heard any. So the the town has not issued any permits. The developer has not come for any permits. <coughs> the dig safe marks could very well be just a utility, a utility survey to make sure that they find what they think they're going to find in the public ways. That said, we were notified by uh, our attorney that that project may have been sold again to another company, and we're trying to confirm that. Mm. So, uh, the state, the DHCD, still has <coughs> approved the the project as it is. The zoning board of appeals uh, stipulations <coughs> on that project uh, has a calendar, has a time, and uh, they're not at that time yet, but they're getting close. <coughs> and if the project misses a date by some strange chance they end up resubmitting all over not from ground zero but re resetting the clock for another three year window so that's as much as we know I know that I know the DEP has not approved that as a as a municipal water source yet which is a category they have to have uh, because of the number of units that are there I do also believe that the water district has been approached but the uh, last fall, or Christ, it might be a year ago now, this spring, uh, they rejected the application saying there wasn't enough, they didn't have enough capacity to support the project for fire protection. So, so there's, there's a lot going on, but 
not a, not a lot going on. I'm just yeah, no, curious it's what the status sure. was. Sure, no, it's a great question. <clears throat> kind of quiet from most people's perspectives. Yeah. As you're waiting, can I just do one short public comment? Yeah, please? go for it. Um, there was a, I'm just following up on a concern that was raised last week by Tom about mm. He's exciting on the northwest corner of this oh, building. Yep. Um, I went and talked to Principal Ben and then to Bob Lesko, who's the director of facilities, and I had a look at the thing. It will. I went and looked at it and I thought, geez, this doesn't look good at all, but I'm not a carpenter or anything like that because mm -hmm. there was a piece of wood that was under the siding that looked like it was rotting, and I said, this is not a good sign. but. Uh, I'm, ass I, I'm assured by Bob that, in fact, structurally everything is just fine. Mm -hmm. It's just a nailing board. That, that okay. the, the way the siding was installed, there was a piece that <coughs> was supposed to lean out and it leaned in, and so water got in there and okay. whatever. In any case, it's being taken. It will be taken care of shortly, um, and he'll be something got to see in this because apparently if you go all the way around the building that the siding that this particular thing it's only about a foot or so off the ground yeah um is just fine in a lot of places and in you know mm. a couple of places Somehow there's not so out. it's a question of okay what are we going to do about it that still is up in the air but this particular spot where it looked like it was open and exposed will be addressed yeah. um that's good to know. we also i this morning had a, a longer discussion i went over to bob's office because I want to talk about, um, you know, how we <coughs> processes by which we end up managing to try and take care of things or don't take care of things, and how we can do it better. And we had a good discussion, and he was um, delighted to be talking to somebody, uh, you know, sort of coming from the town side. Even though I'm on the school committee, I was coming here saying, "Look, we got to get you guys in the town. There are things here that we got to get coordinated, and particularly if they get to be." you know, capital projects going on the school to make sure that everybody's, you know, coordinating on these things. And he was delighted to, to have someone express an interest in that. Nice. And delighted to, uh, with the thought that, yeah, there could be good coordination with your board. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, my intention is to continue just to sort of facilitate that in whichever way I can. And, you know, time comes when you want him over here to really talk about something and give you a chance to ask questions and so on, then we just have to do it. And I'm sure he would be happy to do that. So That's great. Because he, you know, he was just telling me, whoa, I got a willing partner here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. um, and then I raised an issue because I said there are a lot of small things in the building that seem to, you know, be on a long list of small stuff. And, and I said, when I, when, when the principal gave me a tour in the building, a couple months ago, and he just, you know, at some point he said, just, boy, it'd be nice to have a handyman around that could just sort of take care of some of this little stuff. And, yeah. and I didn't know, um, I told Bob, I said, I'd raise it with the selectmen because they know a lot of people in town. And I didn't know if, you know, we got a lot of people do volunteer stuff both in town and at the school. And whether there's somebody that has skills and that might be retired, okay, and mm -hmm. might be interested in, in taking on some of these you know, smaller projects that, I mean, really, maybe really small projects, but it would be a way of like, you know, just taking stuff off a list that, you know, somebody like Bob is, you know, trying to worry about and something that Ben has always got on his mind that, you know, here's another thing that doesn't work. And it's sort of like, you know, if you start taking care of some of the small stuff, it sort of, sort of sets a tone that, yeah, you know, we're going to start taking care of this place better now. Right. I mentioned this to Tom before the meeting, and he said, "Yeah, he might know a couple of people that might fit the bill because you got to be, you know, you want somebody that's that, that, that's going to, you know, that's got the skills, right? And then you've got an environment where children are around, and so whether what issues that raises, and what issues, you know, in terms of, you know, other issues in terms of accountability. <coughs> I don't know what you know, the various things you got to think about, but you got you got to go in it with your eyes open and so on. But there might be somebody in town that would be." You know, should I say feeling like, you know, people like to do stuff for the town. I mean, we got a lot of people that do that. And there might be somebody say, boy, you know, I don't want to serve on some committee, but if I, you know, I'd be totally happy going down and, you know, every so often and fixing something. Right. right? There's a lot of ways to serve. That's right. Yeah. And so, you know, I sort of toss this back to you is that, you know, for, for, 
just to think about to see if, if there's some possibilities and it might be something that doesn't pan out, but gee, if it did, it would, you know, everything helps. That's a great point. I was, I was wondering if we could do senior work off. Yeah, that's what I was just, just going like to say. Like tie down. In, we're all, all thinking that tie into that maybe. Yeah, yeah, something I don't know any of the rules for or anything like that or how you go about doing it, but I just thought I'd ought to come sure. back and bring it to you guys. In terms no, that's of, a great point. Yeah, the moderator's yeah. not going to have anything to do. Yeah. <laughs> what about liability? <laughs> that's why I said there are, there are various considerations here about yeah. Accountability but might have to be like Corey certified or something. Yeah, Corey certified. Yeah. I mean, the various things. That yeah. <coughs> but you just don't pull in somebody off the street. Right. Set loose in there. So. <laughs> Even if it was Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for Bob. Yeah. I'm gonna go see if they're gonna be coming up. Them. Yeah. Thank you. Give them a tool belt and send them in. You know. <clears throat> well, it's good to know about the um, the siding issue. Because I haven't noticed that when I was walking by. Yeah, I looked too. at it and I said, God, this is terrible. But then he, he assured me that no, it's just everything a nail there is structurally fine. It's just the nailing board. So, and then he was sort of lament, you know. I mean, you, get, you can get him talking about ways in which, you know, the building could have been, you know, he said, I mean, he said, I said, that's a yeah. strange, I mean, I'm not a building person, okay? Uh, I just think it's important we take care of it. But I looked at it that way, that siding is right there. I said, well, why'd they build that? And he says, well, he says, you know, they just want to make it a little prettier or something like that. And it's just like all you're, doing is, all you're doing is creating a situation where you could have a problem. Yeah. You know, it just seems unnecessary. And, you know, that's the kind of thing you hope when you, that's you know, when you do stuff, it's sort of like, how do you keep from doing things like that? that um, just cause you a little unnecessary problem, you know, some later point. You know. That's the function of the architects. I know. I make them complicated. <laughs> yeah, make them pretty. All I care about is how they work. He was probably wishing it was brick, I would imagine. That's but I had a real good, I had a real good sense that, that he wants to work with, yep. you know, to get stuff done there and having a will in town to work with it would be, would certainly help, so. That's good. How close are they? Oh, uh, they left. Oh. Uh, move to mm -hmm. recommend Article 2. Uh, oh, motion for Article 2. These are annual salaries. Okay. Uh, is there a second on that? Which one, which one are you on? Article Just the two. elected official salaries. We don't do that. Uh, we have a recommendation. We never do that. I know. Hmm. We never. That's a town's prerogative. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Town's prerogative. Um, with respect to the operating budget, which is Article 3, Sorry. the funding sources here are all, we have the House um, and the governors, they're not that far off no. under general government, which is very good. We have the um, <coughs> forecast for... Uh, education, which is solid, and we have the operating request, which has been paired a little bit. However, this article is structured in such a way that if the ballot question does not pass, yep. we have to revisit this. All right, and we'll be back okay. for another meeting. And that's going to be important to bear in mind as we talk about going forward. We're we're working now, uh, as of today's numbers. About 192,498, probably closer to 200 with a bit of a noise that's inside of the revenue estimates. Right. Um, and this last sentence is really important. You know, this is contingent on passage of the override, expressly contingent upon the approval of the Prop 2.5 override of $200,000 we're asking the, the, uh, uh, the townspeople for. Beyond that, I can, I can, <coughs> you know, I can certainly support uh, recommending Article uh, 3. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Again, a lot of department heads, a lot of Sherry's time, a lot of accountants, they look at these numbers. We've had these meetings. It's just time to vote it. You know, I think we skipped over Article One. Oh, I just realized boards and that. committees. Yeah, we always hear reports. That's the moderator's article. I know. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, with respect to Article 4, this is moving free cash to stabilization. Yeah. Now, we had, again, a meeting with the capital. I'm sorry. It's all becoming a blur. <coughs> Financial team meeting downstairs. The years, in the last three years, we have gone, uh, the accountant had numbers, we have gone in with 130 to $170,000. Our base free cash average, without any anomalies, has been between 270 and 350. Yeah. We know this past year and this current year where, and we'll have that information for Friday, you know, either some monies that were simply unencumbered, you didn't spend it, but we know where there has been a good quarter of million dollars <coughs> that is plunked into the budget because of one was the way we're appropriating the capital stabilization and the other was some annual distributions come back for resets. He's going to have that laid out for us. Okay, so we are, you know, we're expecting to be somewhere in that high 300 to low to mid 400 as a target. We're already at a loss doing that by starting with a $75,000 move forward. We should have more than that in the move forward. Mm -hmm. So with that, with that said, uh, whether it's deferring the capital stabilization transfer, which, which we have to make sure the numbers are right, or if you look at our current balances in f stabilization, you may want to, we may want to we may want to keep this money in free cash in mm -hmm. Article 4. For its stabilization. Yeah. Stabilization account currently has $615,000 in it. That's with the transfer. That's with the transfer. So it would be 562 <laughs> without it. <coughs> so that's a, I think that's a discussion point for the board to have. Now, this would be a first year of varying from our use of free cash policy. Yeah. And I, I don't wonder from policy with light regard. I think policy is important once you establish it to revisit it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but this one policy seems to be working well for us feeding into our reserves. Right. Well, one of the things that I would say, Scott, is that when we first started talking about the policy, we were under the impression that, that we always we always want to leave free cash at 130 to 170. Correct. That was our goal. And, 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 the, and, and, the, and the thing was is that, and what we said is that and there was a conversation about not using free cash for the uh, the operating budget, mm -hmm. but what we but what was discussed and agreed upon was that free cash is is you can you know that if you do have free cash that it's not and you can count on a hundred and fifty or sixty thousand dollars every year. Mm -hmm. Why don't you why don't you use that free cash to help augment? Mm -hmm. So I, I would say I would, I would highly I would agree with you in not in at this time not put that money into stabilization. We have we have no commitment from withdrawal from stabilization <coughs> this year. So right, so it's the table this article. The I would I would just I would just not I would just not. But uh, we we've, we've moved to include the warrant article. The question yeah. is how do we handle the motion? Oh. Yeah, I just wouldn't Wait, recommend that. the article. The article is already in. The warrant's already posted. Oh, right. <coughs> So, so we just table it on the floor or pass over it, pass over, pass over it. it on the floor. Yeah. So for the sake of the discussion and the, this, again, it's dynamic. I get it. Um, I think we should, rec we should at least have on the motion <coughs> or recommendation, even if we are going to pass over it. Yeah. That's it's, 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 still, it's still warns, still warns yeah. the electorate. Yeah. Where we stand on it. Yep. So move motion. Yep. I will second. All those in favor? Aye. So opposed? Nay. Nay. <laughs> two to one. One two. To one, sorry, one two. The objective is one, to pass two. over. Yes. No, you will. <coughs> but I but I think I instead of just I instead of just saying pass that. instead of just saying pass over, I think, I, we, I think we're oh, gonna, oh, oh, I think we're going our 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 thing is to rec together. not not to recommend it. Explain yes. why we're right. why we're going to pass over. Right. And then and say and then the then. Becomes, do you want to open it up to discussion? So or not? One in favor, two. No, I meant that was my mistake. <laughs> Zero three. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I, and I th and I th I don't th I'm not a, I I think this discussion's good, if but. You, you know, this is why why we're not doing it. I, I think we should discuss why we're not doing it. Absolutely. Okay, so the motion could be made in a second. Then we're going to debate it just like any other article. 
Well, it's not going to pass it over. I mean, if you, if you put it out yeah, to town I meeting mean, floor to vote, they could vote it. If you oh, vote. that's what I mean. You're going to deal with just like a normal article. I would vote to pass it over. Somehow we have to have a conversation. I think Tom's point is taking the opportunity to actually have the information exchange at town meeting. You, you can't do that when you pass it over. If you open it up, it can, be, it can be, be passed by town meeting. Right. Right. Yeah, we're just going to... And we're just going to recommend to the, to the town meeting floor to, to, to vote no. Okay. Yeah, it's fine with me. I think the discussion so at town meeting floor... As far as I'm concerned, it's a normal, normal article. article. Normal article. Yeah. I, I, I would say you, you want... We, then we you want, have the discussion. We want, we want to have the discussion. Right. I mean, and, and, and we, we, it may lead to discussion about the formula, which yep. we're fine. We can explain. Absolutely. But yep. at the same time, I mean... Yeah. I think... I, I think it, it also it, it helps make the point about the budget. Correct. I agree with that, Tom. Again, we're, we're in a position moving the least value of free cash forward in the accountant's memory. Right. And there's no that, that's an important thing to have out so people can understand yes. that. Like, what? Wait a minute? Really? Right. Well, that's, then, that's the kind of budget we're at right now. Right. And we're not having a withdrawal off of stabilization. So we leave this in free cash. And Correct. Yeah. I think that's a good point. Yeah. Oh, three. Two or three. <laughs> <coughs> no. uh, with respect to the capital stabilization, this hundred and sixty thousand two eighty four, and again, I only have notes. Uh, we have a little less than three hundred thousand dollars worth of worth of um, uh, spending right now coming forward in the capital budget. Mm -hmm. Do we need this hundred and sixty thousand dollars for the capital budget, Scott? Uh, we need most of it. Yep. We raise one hundred and ten thousand. We have uh, this one hundred and sixty. We were going in with three hundred and twenty-four thousand dollars in capital expenditures. That number's pared down a little bit. How much? How much is in there now? Oh, we're starting with sixty-five thousand. How much? Sixty-five. You're adding the one sixty, and we're raising one ten. So again, there are some the capital budget capital planning committee is going to be recommending a, a reduced request than what the department heads brought forward. But we were started at like 324 and change. Um, so it may be Tom that this one could be amended down. We can't amend it up, right, Mr. Moderator? If this value, we could amend it down, and we'll have that. We'll have that Monday uh, for our meeting here. What the actual capital budget is? We just recommended it. We just went finished our vote prior to this meeting. So, yeah. okay. so I would <clears throat> I would make a motion to uh, recommend Article Five, knowing that it will likely be amended down on the floor. And again, that would keep money in free cash as opposed to in right, the diff whatever the difference ends up being. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, when, once it go once it goes into capital, once it goes into the capital stabilization fund, how can it be used? Just for capital, right? Be used for capital. Mm -hmm. I I would think that we'd be better off putting this into stabilization. In case something in case something happens. Mm -hmm. um, so then you have a little more flexibility. Well, yeah, because I mean. If you're hand tying yourself, right? You're, 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 you're certainly you're certainly a little more. It's a narrower use of of the funds. So you right. could, if there was a, a budget problem, you couldn't come forward or an assessment, and you couldn't take that money from capital stabilization, right? Whereas right. you could from stabilization, stabilization. right? Right. But you can take the money from stabilization and apply it to capital exactly. project. Exactly. Right. I, I would, I, if you if you want to put it to, I I understand I can understand going to stabilization. Mm -hmm. But I, I think I'd recommend going to stabilization instead of capital stabilization. Okay. Then at we this would, time, I mean. At this time. And we would have yeah. to modify the capital wrong, budget yeah. article just by funding source. Correct. Right. What, what, and what do you think, Scott? I think if there is a, by moving it into stabilization, I have no issue with that at all. On the contrary, I think that's an appropriate use as long as we can <coughs> modify the funding source in uh, for Article 7. And that's pretty straightforward. We just have to tweak that motion either way. 
So really, Tom, we're going to be in a position for our meeting on Monday to act on Article 7. Correct. <laughs> okay. So you want to modify the motion here for Article 5 to be to the stabilization fund. That's it. Remove the word capital. Correct. Is that a motion? I want to understand one yeah. more thing. Yeah. So the warrant reads capital stabilization fund. Should we change this on the floor? That's what I'm wondering because right. we've the, already the, got it here. The, and the, it's the warrant itself reads capital stabilization. If the motion doesn't match the warrant. What do you think, Mr. Moderator? I think because it's both, they're both stabilization. Mm -hmm. And even given the fact that capital is a little more restrictive, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody's going to argue with us. Because we're going to less restrictive. Right. You can't make it more restrictive, more restrictive. you can make it less restrictive. Okay. So, I, again, I'm thinking about the mechanism. I'd hate, to, mm -hmm. I'd hate to have the motion not line up with the warrant and we get into some kind of trouble. Yeah, no. Well, the only question that I have is are we talking the 160 or the the 53 just staying as stabilization. Uh, the 160. We're talking about leaving right. the 53 in free cash. That's the goal. In free cash. Right. So we would move so that. We would not move that at all. And then Article 5 would be the 160, but it would be okay, to so stabilization. Okay. So Article 4 stays free cash. Yeah. Article 5 just goes from capital to stabilization. That's the current discussion, yep. Do you have a question? Why wouldn't you get the final number that you need for this year's spending from capital stabilization? Right. Then we got to do that do, anyway. Do the math, yeah. transfer the necessary amount into capital stabilization to yeah. fund those projects, then you don't have to worry about the wording on the article being changed from the funding coming mm -hmm. from capital stabilization and changing it to just the stabilization fund seems cleaner. And then the, and then the remainder stays in free cash. The transfer oh, remainder. Mm. The remainder. Yeah, we Yeah, could do that. Stays where? Free cash? So it would say in free, free cash. cash. Yeah. That's right. Cleaner is usually better and less confusing. <coughs> now, the only thing just to bring up is that is there was discussion at the meeting of the Capital Planning Committee on more than one occasion when it was, you know, a question of, you know, yay or nay on various projects as to how there will be, uh, it's expected there will be significant things coming down the road dealing with our infrastructure, yep. okay, that we're in the process of determining, and that having, you know, it was sort of like, well, a couple of cases, you know, we're going to have big things coming, so don't just approve everything right now and see if we can, you know, just be careful kind of here. Yourself. And so the idea being that, you know, when you end this fiscal year and this set of spending requests, you still got something in the bank right. to deal with those sorts of things. And what it sounds like what you're setting up now is you'll still have that same amount in the bank. It'll just be in the stabilization fund instead of leaving something in the capital yeah. stabilization. Right. It's an interesting, interesting point. If you look at the capital budget, Tom, and we only move the money for the capital budget, which is an article itself, that <coughs> takes some of the pressure off of the stable, off of the free cash transfer. My my uh, my my concern is if if you put them, if I if I if I knew, if we if we didn't have an override question on the ballot, I would I would say I wouldn't have any. No qualms about how it's written right now. I hear you. Yep, I hear you. But with with a prop two and a half question on the ballot, mm -hmm. I'm um, I, I don't want to start cutting a hundred thousand dollars out of the school budget. Yep. No, I understand exactly. You know, you know what I'm saying. I sure do. Because and if and if we if we if we load, it, I, I think if we load if we load the capital stabilization. We can take money out. I mean, we can use money for capital stabilization for capital capital projects, right. but we right. can't use it in the budget. Right. Yep. So I now so now so if so if 
I would I would propose that if if the override fails, we have to come back for yep. a budget for for another town meeting. Mm -hmm. I would also counter that by saying if the if the override passes, mm -hmm. we would still need to come back to this town meeting to reappropriate the 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 monies into the allotted uh, allotted uh, mm -hmm. funding. Nope. Not on the budget. It's contingent upon. It's already there. <coughs> it's, it's a, well, the article. What, what the I'm article, what, yeah. what I'm saying is that if if we if if we take this if we take this hundred and sixty thousand dollars and put it to stabilization mm -hmm. versus capital, yep, right. If the override fails, we don't have to do. I mean, we still have to come back and 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 we have to get more money. We we but if the override passes, mm -hmm. we would t then we would change that one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. From the stabilization, we would then apply, come back to a town meeting and put it to capital, capital, capital stabilization. Yeah, at, at, at some point, but remember, Tom, this this money here almost nearly <coughs> almost nearly matches the expenditure request of the capital budget. Uh, I know, our, and I haven't seen that. In but, but and that and that's and that's right. what I'm saying is that I don't know if we can afford correct that capital this year. The capital yep. expenditures yep. that we have listed out right now. Yep. And and again, I. And just me, sure. Okay, I would say it's awful hard to go into a town meeting, and 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 I I we we can if we put the money into a hundred if we put that hundred sixty thousand dollars into stabilization, mm -hmm. we can still carry out the capital planning right. using stabilization versus capital. Correct. If the override fails, we can then go back mm -hmm. and say, okay, we're not going to have these. These cap we're cutting these capital out, yep. and that money goes back to stabilization, Correct. not capital stabilization, Correct. but stabilization. Yep. Right, rather than hamstringing yourself. Yeah, I understand. But if, you, but if so, but if you put it all in this capital stabilization, yep. you only can use it for one thing. I think, I think we're I think well, there's consensus about not putting it into capital and, and the restrictions there. No doubt yeah. in my mind about that. Yeah, I understand. I understand the mechanism that you're driving at. So we would leave fifty three thousand from Article Four. Into free cash. And if we just leave it for free cash, <coughs> we would be able to use fund the capital budget if it's in stabilization. It's just a matter of the wording of the article. Well, it's an important word. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think. And it still allows us to stay within an element or two because we're using some free cash to fund the operating budget yeah. and we're putting a percentage of it in reserves. It's just not. Different type of reserve. Just stabilization. Okay. So if we do that here, right, 160, 284, <coughs> and remove the word capital and just call it stabilization. Right. Stop. Okay. So again, Mr. Moderator, as we look at this, the warrant reads Article 5 to stabilization. Should we make this change on the floor of town meeting? I have to. So the question here becomes, from the board's uh, mechanics tonight, are we going to uh, move to recommend, or do you want to wait till Monday when we actually see the the final we'll Monday. Ca yeah. final capital budget requests? Yep. Okay, that makes sense. So we'll table this till next week. Yep. And the same thing with Article Seven. Yep. So we would leave. So we voted the budget. We we voted to not recommend four. It leaves us with five, seven, <coughs> seven. That's it. And that's it. And that is to do with the final version of capital. We would have had this for tonight's meeting. We did not have a quorum last week. That's that's that's, a, that's the chair's fault. That would be me. Um, okay, so we come back for five and seven. Then we get a hot press going for Tuesday to get this out to everybody. <laughs> yep. Okay. Thank you. Does that make sense, though? No, I think it does. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't. I don't want. To, I. I just don't. And again, on a normal a normal year, and you had the monies available, it's it's a no brainer. Right? You can't. You can't send sending a mixed. <coughs> you can't be sending a mixed message. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, that's right. Well, that's what the on the surface it could be perceived as a mixed message. If I wasn't thinking about it that way, I I would just 
Oh yeah. I, I just don't. I, I just don't want a hamstring. Yeah, yeah. I just want the agree. mechanics. Yep. yep. That makes sense. Yeah. And again, the the, the capital budget that's being requested is less than the total the total right. uh, already. <coughs> but and you know those moderators have been around since 1640s. <laughs> it looks pretty yeah, good. good for being around about that. that. Yeah. Okay. Well. <sighs> Subject to debate. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a question on that one? Or? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to debate. What's that? One question on the budget. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> you look at town employees. In two, 2015, FY2015, it was $180,000. <coughs> Under insurance? Under town employees medical. Yes. 180. Yep. And FY19, we're 343. Mm -hmm. And the question that I have is, is that when you changed the insurance companies? No. And More people on the plan. Increase and increases. Three. Yeah, it's just sort of a, an accumulation of, th of things. So again, uh, total, total enrollment. And then <coughs> across that from you're looking at FY9, Bob. FY9 is 185, right? Town insurance, right? 77. No, what number am I looking at here? Benefits and insurance, county retirement, workers' comp. Oh, town medical, right? So 185, basically 10 years ago, and it stayed relatively level. It didn't, yeah. Until 15. Yeah. So there's and actually yep. 16, 17, 18, 19. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, there was a combination of the ins the treasure collector telling us that our insurance was either being underestimated or overspent. That was item one. That's when you saw the shift from the 180s to 190s to the 86 to the 228, right? And then last year uh, we had. Uh, a series of additional enroll that was an additional family and she's budgeted this year part of his estimate for enrollment budgeted this year for an additional two families and we're dealing with the actual increase the increase the 49 and change was coming regardless it was coming from the cog i'm sorry from the hampshire insurance trust or Maya, it didn't, you know, we asked for the same plan. So we were gonna see the 49 regardless. The 49 isn't exclusively the face value of the purchase of the insurance. There's a budget line, there's, a, there's budget noise in there for enrollment if we have more people come in. And so that's another piece that shows up as a little bit of free cash. But we have been, we had been steadily estimating it at the 180, 190, and again, it would simply be raised out at the end when they would say didn't didn't appropriate enough. There's also yeah. Scott a, a an item in here for the our share of the Deerfield employees mm -hmm. benefits. Oh yeah, so. that came in this, this, this reallocation of the central office. Thank you. No, it's a good question. The Deerfield so, employees for South County EMS and. Uh, so. But why why are they why are they under that? They're they're covered under South County's budget. Yeah, I'll check with Susan, but I know that we did like get a for. there's a budget now for our share of Deerfield employees, so I'm thinking I think it's the central it's, office. It's central office. Yeah. It has to be central, central office. office. Just central. Yeah. Because I'll the because Susan. the town of Deerfield is the fiscal agent for SEMS. They would benefit on our, that our, side. If you look in South South County's yeah. uh, budget it, yeah. health care is in that budget. Yeah. yeah. But good questions. They got, again, this isn't the wholesale. There's some. Yeah, there's, there's not other, much in the way of moving parts in there, but it does catch your attention after a decade of doubling, essentially. Right. School uh, transportation. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are the big jumps there due to? Or is that? Lenny needs a new car. Gripco mm -hmm. needs a new car. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's also been a woefully underfunded from the state level. Uh, the state who loves to push us towards regionalization and everything, and what happens with that, of course, is your transportation costs increase, but they've never funded it at 100%. That's, that's, the, that's the one area of some volatility in the regionalization <coughs> side. Yeah. Oh, and then, too, if we have uh, somebody else going to one of the other schools, right. we've got to cover the transportation costs for that. 
So, so, <clears throat> so, Sherry, we're still in negotiation with our our union employees. That's correct. On the on the. So, do we is is it noted someplace that the sixty percent is only going to be um, extended, extended to them if uh, we stay with or if we go with Maya? As opposed to we already yeah. voted to do that. But Tom's point is about the negotiation. If if the if push comes to shove, the town is not offering sixty percent with the Hampshire Trust. Right. Correct. Right. We're only offering it with my <coughs> right. That was conditional. Well, that. and again, my my concern is is that you go to town meeting and they, and and they say, well, town meeting talked about sixty percent right. right. health care right. benefit. It needs to be reiterated Only over and over. Mm -hmm. It's 55 percent with the Hampshire Trust. With the Hampshire Trust, and it's 60 percent with, right. with Maya. With Maya, correct. Because if point. we go with Hampshire, so it's the same. It's the same cost. Right. right. It's right. their choice. Correct. You know, you know what I mean? It's important to bear that in mind <coughs> because all of a sudden we could they could find this. Well, you said you got 60 percent. Right. It's not. A, yeah, it's I'm not saying they would. Right. But that's a valid point, though. Yeah. Frontier yeah. is with. H card and the Sutherland employees mm -hmm. are with Maya. So Correct. I, I just we need we just make it we we need to ensure that we state it okay. when we discuss the budget. Correct. That has to be part of our presentation. Good point. Well, I, I a lot of people have talked to me wondering about why we're doing it. Mm-hmm. They don't understand. Right. Heard bad things about Maya. And I haven't heard bad. I mean, we've been involved with Maya for a long time. Mm -hmm. We own Maya. Right. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, so it's, and I've never heard, I've never heard those complaints, but they are coming. Right. So. The question is coming from where? But I understand. Right. Well, but we have to, we have to be careful. Absolutely I mean, right. It's a pretty big move. Correct. And then you know, the Neville Club, well, it's been so good, why change? You know, but you have to look at where it's going. And, and again, we don't we don't want to change. Right. Right. I mean, we didn't want to change. I mean, we were basically forced into changing for two reasons. A, the premium was going up. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, the out of pocket expenses to our employees was going up significantly. Right. Yep. Now they they backed away from that right now. They're delaying it now. because some other yeah. accounts didn't implement the Chapter Thirty Two B Twenty One Twenty Two. But it's still coming. <coughs> it's still yeah. yeah it doesn't just, doesn't right. change it's their, it's their business next position year now right. instead. But the increase in the premium is still there. Right. Yeah, they're not. That's not going down. Or the way they're structuring their funding and how right. they. Yeah, so the business that, that part and, and, and I, I guess I would ask, and it may not be one to discuss, but. If if you needed these changes in the if you needed these changes in the copay, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and you needed the increase in your in your plan cost, mm -hmm. how can you keep your plan cost the same and do away with your increases? Right. Where's that Where's that money coming from? Just, right. just delays the inevitable. Yep. Yeah. yeah, but where's the money coming from? Well, right. my understanding mm -hmm. was if they didn't More implement reserves. the plan changes, and the increases, <coughs> it would have went up by either. I think it was sixteen percent. Mm -hmm. Well, that that to me is that to me is a, if I mean that to me is a is a question that needs to be asked by the people at St. Hampshire right. Group. Okay, so you're not you're not going to you're you're not going to increase our our copays. We're going to stay the same. Mm -hmm. Where's that? You just had big increases, right. and now they you just took them away, right. and you didn't change. How does that work? Yeah. Well, Maya caps their increase at eleven percent after the Actually, second yeah. year. It's you know it's rated on the So yeah, okay. I know. We're going to keep that clear out there as well, especially as we start talking about negotiations. Absolutely. Yeah. I just have a question uh, on here. Would it help if we had line <coughs> numbers on here at all? The only reason I ask is because when you know, were talking about, you know, when we reference something, it might, would it help if we had to reference a specific line number? 
But this is a this, this, <coughs> this, this, this isn't what we vote at town meeting. But, but yeah, but going forward, for us, you know what yeah. I mean? I think just right. There's only 300 and change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, you're talking about like one section and it's like, oh, what page is it right, on? Right, this right. way, if you say line number, you know, 232, yeah. you just scooch right to it. Smart. Good point. I'm just thinking just from a, make, just from a searching perspective, right? Because it, yeah, there are a few lines on there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <clears throat> I think that's just a matter of printing the cell the mm -hmm. line. Yeah, that's all. So we go to executive session now. Yeah. <coughs> ah yes. Okay. <coughs> all right. So we're going to be going into executive session for. Massachusetts General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21 2 to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations with non union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non union personnel. And then we'll be coming back in strictly to adjourn our regular session. This is, if I could, Mr. Chair, this is, this is about two professional contracts update from Tom and an update from me about um, town administrator. All right. We have a roll call. Yep. Aye. Tom Frank Tabbitt, aye. David Pierce, aye. 